what do you see as future growth opportunities? And then maybe if something you want to share as well uh, with the audience or some insight or, or what your plans are. So no, let's first talk about um, when you will launch uh, in the U.S. Because um, yeah, we're definitely going to be on the waiting list here to, uh, to be able to get onto your platform. But um, if you could share that and then also kind of your outlook this year into, into the future and what are growth opportunities for you guys. Great. So we are a Canadian-based company. We are uh, in uh, right now looking at office space in the United States. We went through the UCLA Emerson Venture Accelerator, so we're living in LA. Absolutely love LA. Uh, from uh, June, June till uh, sorry, uh, February till June of 2022. Um, so for us, is that we know that California has more people than we have in Canada. It's a huge market. We could be a platform platform just servicing Californians, and you know, be a very, very uh, you know, potentially a unicorn. But for us is that, uh, you know, partnering with the right people and then raising capital, the opportunities are vast. We have so many new opportunities. We have, you know, developers that want to raise capital on our platform. We have people that want to raise capital for short-term rentals. Again, senior housing, student housing, recession-proof properties. Um, so there's so many different opportunities. And so for us, it's just trying to get a better understanding of um, which ones we want to focus on. We want to generate returns. The climate of the, the real estate market is, you know, obviously where it is with the pending recession. Yeah. I think that, you know, uh, for investors, we want to look at the properties that do have and can provide value. Mm -hmm. And I think those are the opportunities. This new um, uh, regulation that you have in California, I think is a huge opportunity. And so to be partnered with the right people, with the right developers to find out, you know, uh, if the land is available to, uh, you know, do a fourplex on, on those on those parcels. You know, I think that that's the opportunity right now in California. Um, and so we can partner with you guys and be able to open that market up and then bring our investors to get those returns and participate. So, you know, having somebody like my mom being able to get double digit returns or, you know, high, awesome. high you know, single digit, <laughs> whatever it is, yeah. uh, that is my path. And that's what we want to do. And and we're helping developers uh, raise capital for their projects as well. So it's, again, a win-win. And so to be able to, find trusted uh, partners like yourselves. We're super excited to, to be working with you guys. Yeah, awesome, awesome. And yeah, I, I think just, just to touch upon this environment, yeah, understood, you know, rising inflation, rising interest, but, um, you know, I have meetings all the time and with potential, you know, homeowners and, and developers that want to partner with us for SB9. And every time this uh, kind of topic comes up, we always say, well, interest rates, will go down eventually, right? And this moment in time, this perfect storm opportunity of a haircut, it's not a crash, right? I don't think you even agree that there's going to be a, a significant crash, but a haircut, right? A discount, right? Like 10, 15, potentially 20%, it's neighborhood specific. But this moment in time to get the short uh, haircut or discount is now, right? So like in the future, when things are booming again, it's going to rise again. So you're not going to have an opportunity to buy something right now at this, uh, with this discount. And, but the interest rate that you do lock in for now, whether it's bridge debt or construction or what have you will go down and you could always refine the future. So I'm always trying to push that perspective to people that right now is the best time to start to, you know, redevelop property and redevelop them for rentals because, you know, rents are still projected to go up. 2024, 2025, and that's just a, you know, a byproduct of inventory, of not enough inventory with demand, so. Well, the other component to that is, uh, John, is that our platform can raise debt. So instead of the banks actually making the money, it's actually the individual consumers that can be making the money investing oh. into debt, debt for your projects. Right. So there's so many different facets. Like our, our, our platform is agnostic to industry. We're focused on real estate. I come from a real estate background. Right. Uh, a lot of our advisors are realtors, mortgage brokers, financial planners, builders, and awesome. you know, working with a lot of new construction. So we understand that market. But our platform, and we've been approached for people to use it for fractionalizing art, diamonds, um, luxury watches, yeah. luxury cars. But we're hyper focused to real estate, and now the you know there are opportunities there, and debt is actually a major component. Where instead of you know getting the high you know rates that you're getting from the banks let the consumers actually make that the those those uh those returns as well so there's so many like i said so many different opportunities that can happen on that. our platform yeah. and so those are other opportunities that we can explore as well well look i'm uh i can't wait for you guys to actually launch so uh i think 
we're definitely going to be in line. Hopefully, a lot of our uh, viewers are also, and I'm pretty sure they will be in line. So I'm going to include all of Thomas's uh, information, email, website uh, in the show notes. Thomas, thank you so much uh, for being on. Um, we got to set up some time when you're back in uh, LA for uh, Korean barbecue or, you know, just- the, Yeah. <laughs> so I, uh, I, I'm i sorry I missed you last year, but um, yeah, um, I, I definitely know some good spots maybe that you, <laughs> you haven't gone to yet. So love to love Amazing. to do that. Well, thank you guys again. Thank you, Thomas. And uh, please stay tuned for more episodes. We're, we're definitely going to lead out this year with uh, value to you as the viewer to introduce you to a lot of um, maybe prop tech startups and companies that you have not heard of that you that need to be on a radar as a realtor, as a developer and investor. So thank you so much. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks, John.